cracking on what I need to get done because it's to rain again soon so right balers looked over oil's been put in it new grease cartridge tractors filled with diesel ready to go so I'm up the top here in the last of the field from uh, high up the road <laughs> so this is the wee field my dad combined uh, the other day that he bent the knife in and uh, I'm nearly done, I'm just cruising about and then uh, I have to go down the road to the big 25 acre field but I need to bed up the main lot of cows a day uh, because the dairy farm doesn't stop, doesn't matter if it's harvest time or not um, so if I finish up before the cows are ready to be bedded I will bruise some more barley, put it away um, but Aye, this is the story in Farm Amore. Uh, so, so far we're sitting at 283 bales. Let's look at them. Oh, poor. Uh, so, I, we've got more hard work when I wave with the bales. You'd always do a more straw. Because <laughs> uh, we, we do buy in some straw and we buy in some barley. Um, that's what it is. We, we, we grow as much as we can. Uh, so, Aye. this is where I stopped last night. Uh, Dad phoned me, asked how I was getting on uh, because he had to stop because it got too damp. And uh, I was like, ah, well, I was only out about 15 minutes ago and it was absolutely fine, you know, dead crisp. And he's like, well, the combine has just decided it's too damp. And it's not allowing the uh, well it's making a lot of noise and uh, that's not ideal so I was like all right so shortly after the phone I got out and straight enough the damp had just come down and ju it just absolutely horsed in I thought it was getting on great as well uh, and then aye, that was it damp come in that was it done so that was that, so that meant I could get home for my dinner, so I think that was about 20 to 9, maybe more, maybe later than that, but I, once that happens you've got to stop bailing, um, but I, it is what it is, <laughs> the joys of harvest time, uh, bloody telegraph poles, I, you can tell, the fields have got auto steered because all the dead straight rows of barley uh, <laughs> in the stubble. Uh, and then you can see the field that Dad done down the road because he was impatient and um, just couldn't wait and just horsed on and got going. But you can definitely tell the fields I've done anyway. <laughs> Beautiful stuff, so it is. You know, because that's that's what kept the, the green in. Because <laughs> that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, that, it's cleaned itself up, and there's holes in it. you were getting somewhere. So that's me finished with the baling. Oh, for now. 
because Dad's still got the rest of the field to combine. But yeah, that's me all caught up. Uh, I'll now need to go home and do some bruising. <laughs> I think that's roughly about 50 bales done, so. Handy, that's all well done. Uh, so the, the video at the start of getting here was Dad had the belly pan out for the bottom auger and basically what it does is uh, after the straws been shook and all the barley's fell to the flare and all that it, it holds up against the auger and that allows the auger to drive all the barley up and into the grain tank and it's just rotted it's much use as a chocolate teapot to be honest it's it's fucked so he's got a new one well he's making one out of plastic at the moment but i think it's to rain tomorrow so he's going to put this on for now see how much he can get done but if the uh, rain catches him out he's away tomorrow to pick up bits uh, so he'll pick up that and that'll be one good bit and uh, that'll be the combine back to full power, you know, so. But, uh, aye, so the shed folk were there. And uh, so the, all they've done is put up the two apexes at the front. Well, four apexes at the front and the four at the back. And uh, put up the wind bracings. And then they were back on Monday. Today is Friday. So they left about half two. So that just meant that <laughs> it's Friday, so they're away. So <laughs> you're not going to get them to work for the Saturday. You're not going to get them to work late on a Friday. So <laughs> it's just us daft farmers that do that, you know. And God forbid a Sunday, you know. <laughs> but, uh, aye. Just the difference in jobs, eh? So. When the weather's right, you must keep going. They stopping us. <laughs> right, I'll go home and get some bruising done. Fantastic baler. Absolutely love it. Just keeps going. Hey Maggie! <laughs> They're putting up one wooden beam across the top to help stabilise it all. Done that all today, done a lot of it this morning. Got a time lapse of it, so I'm not sure when the time lapse stopped, but it was on for five hours. So we'll see how much of that got recorded. But uh, aye, they're fair boosting on with it now, so they are. Brilliant. Right. That is the cows bedded up for another Monday today. Um, that's what I was doing when I was driving past with the forklift there. Uh, so this is all bedded up for another week. Next bedding is on Friday. I need to fix this. The cows have decided I am going to wreck this. So. Uh, yep, the only thing supporting it now is there's a pole inside the pole, so before things go to shit, I need to fix that. <laughs> so things are making quite a bit of progress. Uh, these are the cantilevers for the sides, kind of lean to, so 
I don't know if I've ever properly said, but the whole idea of this shed is there's going to be, this is potentially going to be the new dairy shed. Potentially. We're going to work our way up to there, but in time, it'll take time because it's going to cost a lot of money. So, that's a lean to. This should be a feed passage for feeding the cows along the front here. Same down the other side, that'll just be a big wide feed passage between the two cows uh, sheds there. Um, cubicles should be in here as well and cabin or whatever towards the front but that's also in discussion because we've got the old lean to off the Dutch barn and it could go up where the diggers are over there and that could be the cabin shed but this is all talk at the moment but you've got to talk to decide what you're going to do so just walking across the old slurry tank that is dodgy um i set it up big spacey cow shed we're in discussion at the moment on whether or not to slat the roof so there's a lot of research and dairy farmers that put each roof sheet slightly apart to allow better ventilation it's looking like we might do that because it does help a lot you want a nice cool dairy shed and uh, the cows are far happier in it so we're looking at doing that uh, but we'll need to see because we're quite shut in here by the time we've got the lean to over there it's you know all the wind for the west has been blocked by this shed and then if you ever get it for the east it's blocked by that shed Apart from the end two bays. So it's whether you shut them at that end and uh, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. It's all discussion. But it'll need to be decided soon because these boys are not hanging about. They've done all this today. Mental. Uh, so dare say this side's tomorrow and then it'll be a case of getting all the wood struts up and then getting a start on the roof that's when we'll need to make sure we get our decisions correct for then so aye that's basically how it's all going so aye hopefully you all enjoyed today's video things are getting interesting around here <laughs>